Arizona Diamondbacks starting pitcher Zach Godley, 52, throws against the New York Mets during the first inning of a baseball game, Friday, June 15, 2018, in Phoenix. AP Photo, Matt York, Phoenix, when the Arizona Diamondbacks hit a home run, odds are they're going to win the game. When the D-backs hit two or more home runs, they're nearly unbeatable. Just ask the New York Mets. For the second time in as many games in this four-game series, the D-backs homered multiple times off Mets pitching and handed the visitors a 7-3 loss, their fourth in a row, in front of an announced crowd of 32,170 at Chase Field on Friday. Paul Goldschmidt went deep in the first, while Daniel Descalzo left the yard in the fifth inning, the latter a two-run shot in the highlight of a two-hit three-RBI effort. Goldschmidt, meanwhile, went three for five with two RBI and two runs scored. The D-backs have now hit six home runs in the series. The Goldschmidt and Descalzo homers were off Seth Lugo who entered the game having tossed 10.0 scoreless innings and two starts this season. Lugo, 2-2, was tagged for five runs on eight hits with one walk and seven strikeouts over five innings. It was more than enough run support for Zach Godley, 7-5. He went for the third time in four starts. The outing had its bumps in the early innings. The Mets played at two of their three runs in the first four innings. After that, though, Godley settled into a nice rhythm. He retired 10 of the final 11 batters faced, including a run of nine straight. Godley worked 6.2 innings, allowing two runs on five hits, won a home run to Dominic Smith, with three walks and eight strikeouts. The performance marked just the second time in five starts Godley completed at least six innings. Brad Boxberger closed it out with his 16th save. The D-backs, winners of seven of their last eight, improved to 31-10 when they hit a home run and 19-3 when they hit two or more home runs. The good for the second straight game and seventh time this month Goldschmidt homered. It happened on Lugo's seventh pitch of the game, a 3-1 belt high fastball clocked at 94.4 miles per hour that Goldschmidt sent to the opposite field for a solo home run, no. 14 overall, tying David Peralta for the team lead. The play also extended Goldschmidt's hitting streak to 11 games. With runners on second and third and one out in the second inning, Godley was bailed out by his defense, specifically center fielder Jared Dyson. And Rosario flied out and Jose Bautista was thrown out, Dyson's third assist of the season on a throw Alex Avila caught and then dove to tag Bautista, trying to score from third for an inning-ending double play. Three straight singles to begin the third inning put the D-backs back in front, 2-1. Jake Lamb's base hit to right field play to John Jay with the tie-breaking run, his 10th RBI in his last 12 games since June 1. A second run was added two batters later to make it 3-1 D-backs on a Descalzo sacrifice fly, his 15th RBI in his last 12 games since May 29. Who leads the D-backs in RBI? If you guessed Descalzo, you'd be right. His fifth inning, two-out, two-run home run, on a 3-2 changeup to extend the D-backs' lead to 5-2, gave him 39 RBI in 61 games, and updating an earlier stat, 17 RBI in his last 12 games since May 29. Descalzo finished 2-for-2 two two with a walk and has now reached base safely in a career-high 14 straight games. After going hitless in his first 12 at-bats with the D-backs, Jay has gone 10-for-17. He went 3-for-5 on Friday with his second hit going for an RBI single to make it 6-2 D-backs in the sixth inning. J ripped a two-out base hit to score Dyson who had walked and stolen second and third base. Overall, Jay is hitting .358, 59 for 165 in his last 41 games since May 1st. The bad single, hit by pitch, RBI double, that's how the Mets opened the third inning. Todd Frazier recorded the double, turning on a 1-2 pitch and grounding the ball down the left field line to plate Lugo and tie the game at 1. Fortunately for Godley, he struck out the next three batters, including a called strike three on Bautista, to limit the damage to just that one run. 
Hit a two-run lead, Godley handed one run back in the fourth inning. Smith lined in 0-1 changeup off the right field foul pole for a leadoff solo home run, cutting the Mets' deficit in half, 3-2. For Smith, it was his first homer of the season. For Godley, it was his 11th homer allowed this season and 5th in his last 5 starts. Smith finished 2 for 3 against Godley. The Blues ran down as Avila headed back to the dugout, bat still in hand after he failed to offer a 3-2 pitch from Jerry Blevins and took a called strike 3, thus stranding the bases loaded in the 7th inning. For the game, Avila struck out twice in four at-bats, dropping his average to .113. He's now struck out 52 times in 97 at-bats, covering 43 games. Stat of the game .550, D-back snow. 1-5 to five hitters went to combined 11 for 20 with one triple, two home runs, seven RBI and six runs scored. He said IT, it was nice to see that he rebounded after kind of a grinding start to the game, just showed a lot of toughness for me. Tori Lavulo said, referring to Godley. Noted Godley threw a first pitch strike to 17 of 27 batters faced, in addition, he reached a three ball count four times. Goldschmidt finished 3 for 5 and is now batting .522, 24 for 46, during season-long 11-game hitting streak. Goldschmidt has homered in back-to-back -back games for the fourth time this year, last June 8-9 at Colorado. David Peralta extended his hitting streak to seven games, during which time he's batting .500, 14 for 28. Kettlemark was not in the lineup, it was a scheduled day off after starting each of the team's last five games. D-backs have homered in 12 straight games at Chase Field, tied for the third longest streak in team history. With a first pitch temperature of 90 degrees, the game was played with both the roof and the panels closed. Up next undefeated in his last two starts, Patrick Corbin takes the mound in Game 3 of the four-game series on Saturday, June 16. He'll be opposed by fellow left-hander Steven Matz. First pitch is scheduled for 7.10 p.m. with pre-game coverage beginning 40 minutes earlier on 98.7 FM Arizona's Sports Station. Corbin, 6-2, was roughed up in his most recent outing, five runs allowed in 5.1 innings against the Pirates, but did not factor in the decision. He also took a no decision when he faced the Mets in New York earlier this season. Overall, Corbin ranks among the major league leaders in opponent average, second, 0.197, strikeouts third, 110, strikeouts per 9.0, third, 11.38, whip fourth, 1.00, and strikeouts to walk ratio, seventh, 4.40. Meanwhile, Matt's 2-4 is winless in his last three starts. The road, though, is where he's seen his greatest success this season, going 1-1 one -one with a 1.61 era in five starts. The era 4 and 22.1 IP is the third lowest in the majors and second longest in the league. Follow at Greg Esports.